hello youtube viewers another video for my channel in this video here i have a solar charge controller i purchased from ebay now it says that it is an mppt um, not a pwm i also use pwm but that's for smaller systems i do have a small system but i rather have mppt because this car solar charge controller when the voltage is reduced for charging the batteries it will also increase the amperage so it have a better pulse anyways um as you can see it has different protections and so on but in this video the main purpose is how to use it so it's actually a good charge controller cheap but i really recommend um a pedal charge controller one that's more higher quality but for starters that's good anyways here i also have um it's also off it's a battery charging module so i use it off my load but it's better to use it off a solar panel so mainly it's just like a charge controller um so wind it's for um solar any any different type of generator it's um 30 amps maximum and it's 8 volts to 60 volts maximum anyways so the main purpose of this video is to show you how to use it so here you can see that the batteries are 10.6 volts and it's because i'm running this inverter i've been running for almost the whole day um so it's going to drain the battery and so on so i'm also going to be changing that inverter because it's, it's a modified sign and i'm going to be getting a pure sign which is already on its way so straight to the point you have this here your menu you have increments and you have here for to decrease and you also have your load so you can trigger your load on as you can see the light so therefore these two terminals there will then sell electricity and then you can trigger it off so i usually have it off i'm not using this as a charge controller because i don't really have a purpose to use it right now um so here is your floating voltage your float that's the amount of voltage you want your your battery to always be at so it will also be the maximum to which the battery will be charged i have a hundred um watt solar panel i'm going to be purchasing more and i also have um a battery pack so my battery pack is 90 amp hours times two and i just repaired the battery today meaning that i open it up change the water clean the cells and so on that's a simple repair instead of, instead of replacing the cells melt it and so on so here, that's, here is my float voltage is 13.3 this is my discharge voltage whenever the battery reaches below 12 volts i'm going to um it's, it's automatically going to turn back on and the third one is here load of voltage so so it's basically for under voltage protection so if the voltage is below 10.6 then the load will automatically go off so if the load was on but then the voltage reduces to 10.6 then the load will automatically go off so nothing will be working off these ports until the the voltage goes over 10.6 so and the, f the fourth one, how long will be running the load? That's for the load. Um, uh, this one there is the battery type. Now, I use deep cycle batteries, so I use B3. Most people don't really know exactly the battery type, so there's B1, B2, and B3. So, to toggle, example, if I want to change my footing voltage, I'm going to click on here. So I see my foot voltage here, I'm going to hold it down and I'm going to increase it. So putting point 0.4 is fine. The reason why I'm putting at putting point 0.4 is because I'm, I'll be charging two batteries. It automatically goes back on its own, automatically selects. So right now you can see putting point 0.4. And this is how it works for all the others, including the battery type. So battery type 1 is for um, close those batteries lithium iron is for lithium iron um, and then the, that means the charging voltage will be um, 12 volts also 
lithium ion L2. L2 will be for 14.8 volts, around 14.8 volts for iron phosphate batteries. So, for example, if I click on there, so B1 is for my lead acid. I'm going to hold it down. So, I have two and one. So battery one is for lithium ion, that's for lithium ion also, battery two, battery three is for lead acid. Now when you toggle between them, it also changes the voltage, the maximum voltage. So right now, as you can see, it changed it up a bit, but then again, I have to reset it. So I'll just reset it on this end video here. So I'm going to hold it down to choose my float voltage. I'm going to pay that. 14 point 14 point 8 volts 14 point 7 7 is okay how much as a volt a battery is 12.6 anyways I pay that 14 point 3 volts 4 volts is okay 3 um hold it down to select or let's wait for it to select on own so next whenever it's below 12 volts you're going to restart so i'm going to put it at 2.3 so below three below 2.3 volts it will continue charging and i don't really worry about the fruit volt um the low voltage um I don't really have to worry about that. I'm not going to be using any load. I'm not going to be using this uh, module as a charge controller in time soon until I get some more solar panels. Anyways, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.